Hi everyone, uh, good afternoon from Vienna and welcome to my YouTube channel, Making It in Austria. I'm your host, Adela Mejjanic. And today, as always, I have a very, very special guest uh, with us. Her name is Natalia Villanueva Garcia. Welcome, Natalia, to us. Thank you, Adela. Thank you for this invitation. Well, thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, it's an investment on both sides. Um, I know there's a lot, a lot of things I want to, to discuss with you during today, but let's start with a short introduction of you by yourself. Okay, so I am from Colombia. I am being living in Austria 21 years already. Uh, I came to study music, uh, then I did an MBA. And I'm starting uh, a self-love artist uh, business. So this is a little bit my summary. <laughs> Wonderful. So I will try to tackle some of these things, uh, or most of these things that you have uh, said. But why music, Natalia? Let's start with why music, and then we'll come to the last thing, the self-love artist. How did you find yourself in the music? Or there is there a, a, like a time in your life, as it probably is in the childhood, where you thought, ah, this is what I want to be when I grow up. Uh, well, I was playing piano very, very uh, from a child. From my childhood, I was probably six or seven uh, when I started playing piano. And everybody around me always told me, wow, you, you touch us, you're so talented. So I grew up in an environment of admiration. And um, but uh, when I was 12, I I was very in, it was very interesting for me the spirituality and I started reading books about saints and and I really got into it and then I decided I also want to be a saint and then I told my mother uh, well how can you be a saint probably I need to start with being a nun okay. and then she told me well but maybe look some other life experiences before you decide to be a nun. And then I read in the biography because I used to read a lot of biographies from saints and I was a big fan, I am, uh, but in that time when I was 12 uh, of uh, Jean Paul II. And then I read his biography and he studied first composition and then he went to the seminary. Mm -hmm. And he made also a lot of good things with music. And then it was like, oh, why do I, I could do that too. If I want to be a saint, I could also first study music. It's already I'm already successful as a child. I already feel comfortable. I have talent. And if it's for me, and if I pass the exam in Vienna, then I would do it. And wow. this is how I decided to come to Vienna to make the exam. And I passed. If I haven't passed, I would have done something else because that was my plan, like, if I can make it in a very good university, then is then I would do it. If not, I would just choose something else. But this was the path that opened for me. Uh, we were around hundred applying, and four got the spot, and one of these four was me. So I was very happy. I felt like at Miss Universe when they named you like at Miss Universe is now Natalia. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> I cannot believe it's me. So yeah. Exactly, yes. So I did that. And then my plan was really after a standing composition to pursue my saint career. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you wanted to be the saint Natalia. Uh, yes. What would you be standing for? So what, all saints, right? I don't know much about saint, being a saint. Yes. So can you help me understand what would be the saint, saint Natalia? Yes, well, now for sure is a whole other meaning. Uh, but when I was 12, uh, 13, first of all, now I'm like, when I was 13, I was reading the biography of these saints. Like, this is very unique. Uh, my favorite saint was Luis Maria Grignon de Montfort. Um, I, I, I used to read all his literature, well, all, I had two books, but for, for me as a child was a lot, and I, I really follow. Uh, so saints, uh, they are usually, of course, nuns or, or um, um, priests, mm -hmm. so they have a very, uh, very specific schedule, they wake up, they give thanks, mm -hmm. and they pray, the morning prayers, uh, there is a book for nuns and priests that you follow. I bought that book and I was living 13, 14 with this book. So I woke up and do these prayers and so on. And also when I was in school, I, I motivated my 
colleagues at school, my schoolmates, to do this also. So in the breaks, we were I was bringing them to to the chapel, and we were doing some of these of these tours, and I really liked it. And I was like, wow, if I could connect people to who they are, or in that moment, I I use the word God, Jesus, or the Holy Mary. Um, that made me very comfortable. And I kind of had always, um, um, yeah, people came always to me for this, uh, for this, uh, Anati. we were like kids, like 12, 13. So my friends are cool, like, ah, I know God's listened to you, but more, could you please pray for this? And then I was like, God listens to us in the same amount and so on and so, but people always came and, and this pattern stayed till today. And uh, yeah, of course, now I have a completely different meaning of being a saint. And, but in essence, I think uh, that always stayed. I didn't, I wanted you to, to finish it and I didn't want to interrupt you, but I wanted to connect what you said with what you're doing today because it's, and that's where we are coming at, the, uh, at this point of time is you said <clears throat> there was a certain uh, book that you were living by with certain tools, right? And how you started your day. And it resonated to me with a little bit with self-love, right? With, you know, there's a certain tools that you use and then people come to you and they ask for certain tools for certain things in their life, right? And this is one of the, one of the things that you also do. And I had the opportunity uh, to do it with you. So there are certain tools that we, uh, that, that you give to people that they can follow to make sure that they, you know, uh, conquer or some things in their life that uh, uh, that worry them or that they are challenging for them. So I wanted to to to, to just to share this parallel because it started long, long time ago. It's in a different shape and form today, but it's yeah, very similar, very similar. It's true. It's, it's exactly very similar. And the more I realized these similarities with what sparked my heart when I was uh, 12, 13, um, the more I feel com comfortable with my vision now. That's but beautiful. Yes. I also enjoy a lot my other things that I did, uh, my my music studies, uh, the concert, the pieces I wrote, uh, the, when I founded my orchestra 12 years ago, mm -hmm. all the concerts we did. Um, yeah, you. it was uh, always this kind of um, uh, connecting connecting um, people for uh, for uh, for a deep experience in music so it always had this element um, but of course having um, a company or let's say an orchestra which is actually is I have a, a game behind uh, but it's actually a group of musicians of 104 um, you have other things to consider, not only this beautiful experience, you have the business topics to consider, you have budget, you have time, uh, you have other areas that you need to consider to, to make it run, which I enjoyed also a lot. And this is why I also enrolled in the MBA at the VU Executive Academy, which was a huge benefit for me. Uh, because it was exactly that part that I didn't learn in music university. Of course, it was focus and the priority was artistic development, how to develop the creativity when you have an idea, how to evolve that idea into something that other people can also experience. Because when you have an idea, you experience it yourself, very subtle. Mm -hmm. But then when you when you write it down, when you rehearse it, when you record it and make your experience the experience of others. And then you feel this match that what other people are hearing was, it was what I was hearing only inside of me. This is also an amazing experience. So I am really grateful about from all my paths or all my vehicles. And in the last year I invested to, to make it more and more specific to, to what is it that I want to to make my life uh, worth living from now on. And I am still doing my music projects. I love every time somebody invites me to be part of a great project. Uh, I also teach at the MOOC, Musik und Kunst, uh, um, Privatuniversität der Stadt Wien. Uh, and this is also a very, very, very important part of my life right now because it's so fulfilling and, 
and the team is so great and the students have so much talent and so much potential. So again, here I can reflect a little, I can see reflected a little bit this essence from my, but I also sit in a group of people and trying to transmit something uh, that is not tangible yet to become an experience for others and ourselves too. So when I look back, like, like you're selling, uh, telling me or I connect the dots, I realize, well, I was actually doing it all the way, <laughs> all the time, just different focuses. Yeah. Um, yes, so this is a little bit what I can say. <laughs> um, I love when you say I'll compose a music piece for it. Uh, and some of uh, you listening to this might think, oh, how do you two know each other? So. Natalia mentioned already the uh, MBA, the Wave Executive Academy, that we both did an MBA. We met then after through some people and also through the Female um, Leaders Network that exists at the Wave Executive Academy. And so we knew each other, we saw each other, we waved to each other. But basically, so when we, and when Natalia was saying in one of the other, I think was the celebration of uh, four or five years of, uh, you know, the Female Leaders Network, when you said, I'll compose something. And I was like, what does she mean by that? Was like <laughs> just you go home and some people do I don't know painting or make a cake and she's just like I'm, I'll compose a piece for that and I was like uh huh okay so <laughs> amazing it, it's just like uh, you know so many I, I just want to say so many gifts and talents that are within us but we nobody knows uh, about that mm -hmm. um, yeah unless we connect a little bit deeper beyond you know the the usual I am this MBA specialization I am. Uh, you know, working here, doing that. So it's, uh, I, I wanted to say it's a great pleasure to have the opportunity to meet you from other angles as well, uh, because they are, these ones are very much subtle and very much enable me then to get to know you and all others uh, 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 branches and things that you have mentioned in, in, in your life that you're doing. Um, and I, when you, when you contacted me last year, so I was like, what the, what is Natalia now preparing? Because as you said, there is always something in your head and most of it gets, you know, uh, fruitful on the, you know, piano or through orchestra. So it gets to be lived as well and seen. And I was so, uh, uh, and very touched when you la said last time um, to me that this self-love that you want to do more and that you want to bring it more forward and then you want to bring it more closer to people, to individuals, no matter like which walk of life and which situation. Um, and when you said that, uh, you said, I all have all the time because I left, I put everything aside to do this. And that was so, wow. Right? Yes. That you can say now with all the you know knowing yourself and what you're capable of and all what you can do and all the places that you can be at this point of time with all of your talents but you're saying i'm putting everything uh stop you know to to wait because this is the most important thing that i want to focus on yes exactly Wow. Yes, well, the, the thing was started two or three years ago when I, I realized in 2024, I will be 40. And I always told, told myself, ah, I would like to do that. I would like to do that. I would like to do that. And then two, three years ago, I realized, okay, I, I don't want to be 40 and then haven't tried it. Uh, so I started a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it was really great that I started a little bit because I was doing what I was doing, my orchestra, my music projects, my other things, and and um, and this uh, developing this idea. So I, I think I really needed those uh, incubation years. And uh, in the middle of 2023, I said, okay, I think I'm, I'm ready to, to just focus on this. And um, why I said I left everything for this is because I want to really give it a try. And so I can one day die in peace. I really gave it all. It was never a plan B. I want this to be my plan A. Uh, and I was also very inspired by the book it's, that is very popular, uh, Napoleon Hill, uh, Think and Grow Rich. Mm -hmm. So this was always my plan B, always. Because it's the way you... 
you think is correct. Like you have a normal job, a proper mm -hmm. thing, an income and so on. And then you, you have what you would like to do, uh, you develop on the site. So I, this is what I was doing. And then after reading this book uh, about success and so on, uh, it really catch my attention, the sentence, well, you cannot have a plan B if you want to succeed in the plan A. And it was like, but not having a plan B is freaking me out. Like, what if I plan E, plan, plan A doesn't work. And that's exactly the point. When you doubt, then you begin focusing on more. Well, I don't know if it will work, but that was the like the impulse I needed, okay, I will only have plan A. And when people ask me, and what is plan B? There is no plan B, there is only plan A. <laughs> so this is this is what inspired me to say, okay, I, I will just um, focus on plan A. <laughs> and then when I said that, I, I, I got this uh, uh, teaching uh, opportunity at the Music University of the city of Vienna, MOOC. And uh, I was like, oh, exactly when I th said that I will only have plan A, I have this amazing opportunity. And but it's also about giving and, and connecting. And I said, well, what if I really like this experience? And uh, I am loving it. I'm not, not, in, not only liking it. I, it's such a match to what I was really when I was a kid uh, or, or this essence that I was looking for. So even sometimes even if that was not on my plan it was it is for sure um a great benefit for me right now for to experience in that part of me because i have never experienced the the knowledge transfer let's say i have only experienced the organization for entertainment and big events mm -hmm. but this one on one exchange of experiences uh, like teaching at a university or mentoring like in the female leaders it's it's a new chapter now in my life which I am enjoying a lot so this is why the self-love artist studios my plan a <laughs> so happy that uh that you said that and for the ones who are listening and thinking what what or what self love what is all that and 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 how is it going to benefit me uh, and especially if you are brought in a culture that doesn't talk about love or self-love or things like that. So I just wanted to share recent, uh, so one of the recent experiences with Nata. So because uh, when you were sharing that with me, so like uh, people come to me and I give them certain tools and they feel better immediately. I was like, what is she talking about? I, I don't understand it. It was the, the you know, the, the cake that and coffee we shared uh, before the end of the year. And I went home and I was thinking okay well I need to try this out because otherwise you know I owe it to myself and I cannot talk about it if I haven't tried it right it doesn't make sense it's not not an honest uh, you know recommendation it's not an honest experience or just like going by words and not experience so I came to you I told like I want to try it out and one of the things that we were working together was the the talk that I gave uh, in in December in Sarajevo and I was telling you about the procrastination. For instance, one of the things was like, you know, being very critical and thinking, oh my God, what am I going to tell there? And there are like hundreds of other people that they would have invited me. But I said, yes. And you said like, oh, the thing came to my life. And I said like, okay, I'm doing it. And then I was like, oh, oh, all the work I need to do and all the preparation and all the slides. And I was like, why am I doing this to myself? Can I just go <laughs> like... It's end of December. The year was tough. You know, there was like millions of things and I decided to go do this. And yeah, then I had a talk with you and one of the things I'm looking at, the, you know, my, my mantra and it was like, I trust my intuition. I'm willing to listen to that tiny little voice within. And that was this idea that I was sharing with you when I said, I want to do this presentation in exactly this way. I want to do this, 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 and I want to leave all these other things behind, like the technical and going in depth, because I thought they don't need this. These students are smarter than I am, more capable than I am. They will figure this out on their own. Why would I share this, you know, boring things that I don't believe in themselves? I get bored after three minutes. Uh, so you encouraged me a lot. Uh, you gave me uh, the last push, you know, where I was thinking, oh, is going to be too soft people mm -hmm. will think i i sign up for a technical keynote but here she comes talks about soft things like yeah yes 
<laughs> so I, I, for, for you know you gave me a lot of you know this this um what we all need in life this final like this push and we say yes mm -hmm. you're the right path you should not be uh, you know ashamed of you know the feelings and ideas and thoughts that come with from within you that's you and you yes. share some of the experience of yourself that you had and what i thought okay hmm, I, I might give it a try yes right. now i'm glad that uh, that really helped you and that you had such an amazing experience there yeah um, and yes, this, this, uh, I, I, I chose the word self-love, but it's a concept that covers so many, 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 many areas. Of course, I could have called it self-confidence, self-esteem, security, uh, even success, uh, feeling good. All these tools, the, the main goal is to improve the quality of your life that you're going from home to the workplace and you have two choices. You can feel crappy or you can feel good. And this choice you always have. Maybe you don't have the choice to your home, to go home or to go to the office or to go to your um, to the park or wherever you want to go. But you always have the choice to choose the option. Do I feel good? Do mm -hmm. I am kind to myself in these 20 minutes I will be in the car or in the metro? Or would I, will I criticize myself or criticize others while I am doing this? Of course, self-love is also not only about being kind and criticizing others and yourself. There are so, so many other areas um, like um, thinking what you think you should be doing, what you, should, you shouldn't be doing. And yes, well... I could also make a general concept mm -hmm. of criticizing, mm -hmm. but it's more, it has more sub areas than just that. The thing about we all, of course, we all know which I shouldn't criticize myself. We all know this. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. But we still don't, we still have a script that is so deep inside of us that we don't know any other script. And this is what I like to do in the self-love artist studio is a place where you practice another script together with other people or individually uh, as, as anyone uh, prefers. But there is um, a, be a great benefit in practicing this other script and not only just like you mentioned, not only repeating a mantra, but then um, understanding why. Mm. Why is better for me to think this way uh, it was beneficial for me to think this way till now, but now I can choose differently. So the, I think my most important vision is to share with people that they have the choice to think another thought or think another thing about themselves and about others. And I think this is uh, what uh, I enjoy the most experiencing in myself and in others. Thank you, Natalia. And for the ones that would like to experience it in Vienna, uh, Natalia is organizing a morning or, uh, for self-love on the 24th of uh, February. I will link the, the Eventbrite registration link to this video. Uh, please come join us. I'm also very much looking forward uh, to be there, to learn from, from you, Natalia, and also, of course, to meet all other people that are coming in. I'm by nature, very curious, and so I, I and I love meeting new people, and I love to see why people have come to the certain places where when they could have been at, you know, hundreds of other. So I'm 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 really looking forward to it. Um, now coming back to the making it in Austria. So out of curiosity as well. So uh, you are Colombian. So. What would you bring more to, to Vienna, to Austria, from your own culture? So what what is one thing that comes to your mind as like, ah, yes. if we would have had more of that, then it would be? Well, I actually have a very famous quote that it was even in the newspapers, because when I founded my orchestra, I got a lot of media attention because uh, young women from Colombia in Vienna making the, um, the first film music and video game orchestra of Austria was was very attractive for the media. So I had several newspaper articles and also in magazines. And um, in the interviews where we were talking, the sentence that they always like to, to, to mention 
was um, I will do it anyway. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I I do have an Austrian um, education because my university I came here when I was eighteen. So I I love this structure. I love that everything has a term. I love that everything has a place and and is mm -hmm. calculated. But of course, I bring this uh, Colombian or Latin American uh, mindset also. Uh, well, it's not possible, but I would do it anyway. <laughs> so I started with this, but it was not in purpose. It was just what, what we all do yeah. in Latin America. Uh, you know, there is no solution right now, but some somehow, you know, we will do it anyway. And and this is how we started, and and it actually had a lot of uh, impact in in many productions where yeah. where people would have thought, okay, it's not it's not possible, and I said, no, we will do it anyway. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is already something. That's so cool. Thank yes. you. I was noting it down. I was like, okay, I will do it anyway. It reminds me on on one of these songs. Was it the I, I'll do it my way? uh was it there's it, this song no i'll do it my way, do it my way. there's some yes. music in my in, uh, i cannot yes. name the artist i'm good at knowing the music so the lyrics it's it uh, that comes to my mind quickly mm -hmm. but when it comes to naming the name you know the artist it's really hard so yes my husband in the family is taking is about the names you know okay <laughs> And I'm more about the situation, the experience, like, ah, oh, okay, it was there. And he's more like, ah, yeah. oh, that was this movie, in that movie, or that song. So we kind of have split roles um, <laughs> nice. in the family. Um, uh, Natalia, anything else um, that we have missed? Because we are, it's been already, you know, half an hour that we are chatting. So anything else that I have missed to ask you? Because I am so much about this, you know, I've been talking a lot in this uh, interview. It's not common. I usually let other people, uh, so my guests uh, talk, but I'm, I'm, I'm really fa fall in love with the self-love and people who know me better, they know that I get really, really, very excited about things. And, and um, I'm really excited about this topic. I'm really excited to have you here. I'm really excited about what you want to achieve. And I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to, you know, uh, support along the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe what yeah. I can say, you know, uh, to maybe uh, put together making it in Austria with self-love is, uh, well, I was also very young when I was here. So uh, for me, the new country and of course a European country somehow, or at least in my case, when I was 18, I, I thought Europe is more advanced and, and more important. And we are not so important because we are from Colombia. It was my, my 18 year old mind. And what I will, um, what I will uh, say to young people who are coming to a more developed country uh, is to find value in what they already have at home to to bring here is great value. And the biggest thing uh, and the, the sort of positive surprise I found here is they welcome it. So with such an open heart, and it's not like I thought they, they are just uh, tolerating my who I am. They really embrace it in Vienna. I don't know other cities, but uh, I have met uh, Viennese and Austrians here that uh, and Europeans in, in general, who not only like but embrace it and 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 see it as a as a benefit for everybody, um, and this is something I didn't know. And if someone is thinking about coming here and thinking, okay, but I'm too different, what can I mm -hmm. add or how can I be a benefit? Um, the value is a more than I usually or we usually think it is. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Natalia. Yeah that resonates with our uh with us when we moved to Austria uh it's uh, 10 years now um yeah you didn't know what you have on, until we came here and people yes. started to notice us and people started to be curious about uh us and and they were like how are you so open and uh, how have you been raised at home and 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 Bosnia is very multicultural 
Um, uh, we have in Sarajevo, we have, uh, you know, big church, big synagogue, uh, huge mosques. Uh, so are we, uh, I'm very comfortable around uh, all the people from all walks of life and from all religions and all backgrounds. So that's how we, yeah, we were grew up. So basically, mm -hmm. so it was not a, a surprise. So and people were, I, I was approached by a few people who were like, how, how have you been raised at home? Because you are belong to a certain group, but you are very, very open and very tolerant and very, you know, easygoing and you can find ways uh, with other people and other, you know, having different arguments and so on, because that's, you know, the value, as you said, the value what you were raised and you don't know it until you are in the yeah, it's exactly. environment because everything, when you, where you've been, it was no normal kind of and, so you haven't been tested before until you come to the new places and new you know uh cultures where you say oh okay mm. oh, now i can i can apply what i've been learning the whole life yes thank you natalia thank you so much for being our guest today um thank you for this wonderful invitation yeah <laughs> You're shining, you're golden. So I love this you know, <laughs> gold thing. Uh, so the gold bridge, the, the you all golden. I'm so grateful to have you have as a guest, and I'm looking forward to you know um, see many of making it in Austria. Uh, yeah, go, joining the uh, self love uh, you know uh, workshops and. We need that. We need that today. We need that today more than than yesterday. The, as they say, the best day to plant the tree was yesterday, but the best, second best, is today. So yeah. it's also with us, with every change that we want to create and do. Um, yeah. So there are many people that can um, support us along the way, like yourself. So don't be shy, anyone. We are all struggling one way or the other. So there's no perfection. Uh, and Natalia has a very beautiful open, uh, space uh, that allows people, you know, to open up and, you know, have a have an open, uh, honest conversations and and try to, you know, make the best out of it and live the best life, out of it. Yes. Good. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for so taking much. my time. Thank you all. Um, thank you for taking the time to listen to us. I will link all the Natalia's contact details from LinkedIn and also her website where you can get in touch with her directly. Um, I wish you a great, uh, great day, great week from Vienna and looking forward to the next interview. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ciao.